Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1,345. Hey, if you want to download this Excel file and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, we've got a great video here. We've got to see how to conditionally format product name when there are no entries entered in the row. So here's our list of products. And notice product number 7 does not have anything entered in the row. So I need to apply conditional formatting. Whereas this one has something entered in the row, so it should not get conditional formatting. Now, oftentimes when we do conditional formatting, we simply highlight the entire range, go up to Home, Styles Group, and there it is, conditional formatting. And we look for a built-in feature. But this is one of those situations where there is no built-in feature that I know of that can look at a range of cells, determine if nothing is there, and then apply conditional formatting to a different cell. Hey, in this situation, though, we can use logical formulas to determine a true or false for each cell, and then use that formula to trigger the formatting. Now, anytime we do formulas, I like to build it off to the side and copy it down to see if the patterns of trues and falses work. Once I get my formula working, then I copy the formula and paste it up into the correct conditional formatting dialog box. Now let's think about this. We need to look at this entire range here. Now there's two things. If we only wanted to look at numbers, we might consider something like the count function or sum. If we wanted to look at anything entered in the cells, then we might want to think about the count a function. I'm going to start with the count a. And you can see count a specifically counts the number of cells in the range that are not empty. So anytime we put numbers or text and we highlight this range, count a will count how many of the cells have numbers, text, or whatever else might be in the cell. Close parentheses, Control Enter, and then I'm going to copy it down. Now notice the cells that contain a 0 are the ones where we want our conditional formatting to be applied. So I'm going to come up to the top cell, hit F2. Well, I'm simply going to ask Countdown, are you equal to 0? Anytime we use a comparative operator like this, we have converted our formula to a logical formula that will deliver either true or false. Now I can Control Enter and double click and send it down. And there it is, true. Definitely that row is empty, so that product should be formatting. Now, there's a few different ways we can do this. Another one is we could simply use count a. And instead of using equal 0, and I'm going to double click and send this down, I'm going to, in the top cell, hit F2 and use the not function. Now, look at what the screen tip says. It says it converts false to true and true to false. Well, I don't see any trues or falses here. Well, guess what? All logical functions, not, and, or, if, will interpret any non-zero number as true and zero as false. So not wrapped around counter will work just fine. Control Enter, double click and send it down. Now notice we got false right here, and that's text. Here we got false, and that's a number. That's because we use the count a function. Well, if I wanted to specifically look for numbers, I would use count. And notice count counts the number of cells in the range that contain numbers. So now I can simply highlight that range, close parentheses. And if I Control Enter and double click and send it down, you could see right there it got a 0 because that is not a number. Now notice I have the whole range highlighted in the active cell at the top. I'm going to hit the F2 key to put that active cell in edit mode and then say, are you equal to 0? I have edited the formula, and I want to populate it throughout the highlighted range. So I use the keyboard Control Enter. Now I get a true here because that is not a number. Yet another way we could do this is how about just the sum function? I'm just going to add all these, Control Enter, double click and send it down. There it is. The 0 will be our trigger. F2 equals 0. 
Control-Enter to populate that formula down. All right, so there's a few different ways we can do that. I'm going to use this first one here, highlighting the very top cell in edit mode. And now I'm going to copy. Now, it's important that I copy the uppermost formula, because when I highlight the range over here, notice the active cell is the one at the top, parallel to the formula I copied over there. Now I can go to Home, Styles, Conditional Formatting, and New Rule. Or I can use the keyboard, Alt-H-L-N. Now, the option I want amongst all these is use a formula to determine which cells to format. I'm either going to click it with my mouse or use the Page Down key. Now, I need to paste my formula in the Format Values where this formula is true text box. I can either click or hit the Tab key. And there it is, Control-V, my formula. Now I come over and I click Format. And I can click whichever tab I want to add formatting. I'm simply going to add some yellow fill. Click OK. Click OK. And boom, look at that. If I were to delete these numbers right here, instantly the conditional formatting is working. Control-Z. All right, that's a little fun with conditionally formatting the product that has nothing entered in the row. We'll see you next video.